When I photograph, I want to portray as truthful as possible. I do not want the portrait to be excessive happy smiles, nor sour or aggressive. This, for me, will be an expression of a state of mind and never a true portrait. We are born to sell ourselves, to lead our genes on. Therefore, many want that they are portrayed in a certain way or angle. For me, it's never about this. For me, the picture of you is where you are relaxed, determined, and yourself as a person. This is not a selfie shoot. It is not your choice. The choice is mine. Therefore, many are unsure of stepping in front of the camera. Many portraits conditioned want to influence my choice or did not think they look the way they want. It's about acceptance of your own self. The face can express emotions through its muscles. Primates, especially humans, using facial communication with conspecifics particular in that it can show happiness, sadness, fright and horror through gestures. When I see your face, I see the beauty in you, the joy, the pain, the turmoil and mood. It's what I love about your face, that you are you and not someone else. We are all similar and so different at the same time. The placement of facial features that we all have makes us different from each other. It is not what we think or what we have in our lives backpack that makes the portrait different from each other. All photographs are memento mori. To take a photograph is to participate in another person's or thing's mortality, vulnerability, mutability. Precisely by slicing out this moment and freezing it, all photographs testify to time's relentless melt. Susan Sontag. The Chosen Picture.